Hello there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So on this video, I'm going to teach you how to use Gemini AI in Google Sheets. Now right here, I'm simply going to be inside the Google Sheet web form. But basically, this is going to be a blank Google Sheets. Now let's take a start for this one. I have a table here, or basically a notepad that has some prompt. And you have it right because we're using AI, we're going to use some prompt. I have three prompts here ready for you guys. You can post a video and copy it. It's perfectly fine by me. Now let's get started. Now from here, you're going to see that one right there, that little star icon. Click on it and you're going to have this. As you can see, you can create a table to compare business strategies. You can create a table to manage a call center or create a table to organize metrics. You can click more suggestions for this one and choose which is which. Three dots right here gives you the options to click more suggestions or send feedback. The grade part right there is clear history, which is pretty self-explanatory. Clear your history with AI. Click this one, expand it, and basically for the next one, can close it. Alright? Now, this is going to be the prompt bar. Now, from here, I'm going to answer the very first one I have. It's basically a create an adventure management table for a barbecue restaurant. Click answer for that one right there. As you can see, it's real time generating a barbecue table restaurant. Now, I have a pro tip for you guys. This goes for everyone. Once it's finished, please do not click anything just yet. Scroll it right there so you can view it. As you can see, we have the unit cost, the quantity, category, item name, and the works. So you can insert right here if you're satisfied or close. However, for me, I want to change the currency to euros. So I'm going to type in here, please change the currency into euros. Because if you click on insert right away and then enter a second prompt, it will not work. So I suggest if you still want to make changes, do not click on the insert button right there or click anywhere in the spreadsheet. As you can see right here, it has been changed. Just make sure before you make any changes, do not click on insert just yet. All right? So from here, you can add another column. For example, type it right there, add another column, change the color. That's going to be depending on your own preference. But for me, I'm quite satisfied with what I have here. I can interchange everything right now. For example, I will make this 50 bags, something like that. You can change everything here. This is now your very own table. You can insert a table right there or a row. Click this one. You can create a filter view, change the name of the table. For example, sample one. Or do some much thing here. Turn off alternating colors, customize table color, or revert to format data, or basically delete the table. That's gonna be depending on your own preference. So next up, let's go here. That says help me organize. Basically, we're gonna enable this option. So this one right here and this one right there are pretty different. Let me just clear the history right there to show you the purpose of that. Perfectly cleared history. All right. I'm going to answer the next prompt I have here. Paste it right there. So that's going to be a create a CRM system for racking dine and takeaway for a barbecue restaurant. So perfect. Welcome back to the video. Now, as best practice, do not click on answer just yet if you want to still make changes. But for now, I'm satisfied with what I have here. Now I can change the notes there, for example, filter it. And then basically for here, now I have a full functioning CRM table for different orders at the same time right pretty simple pretty awesome they're really interactive change everything you want here from the last visit for favorite orders and even you can change the color take note about that one so let's add another sheet here because i want to try another one so we have a crm system tracking for dining what if we ask it to create a task list or a checklist click create right there now, this is going to be a checklist. As you can see, we have task, description, responsibility, and the notes. However, as you can see right here, there is no physical checkbox. So before clicking on insert, I'm going to edit my prompt. I'm going to add here. At the very end, please add a checkbox for completed items. Click create right there. It's currently being added. And this is what we have. Now, you can now simply click on insert for that one. And from here, it has a checkbox right there. Pretty reactive, right? That's going to be awesome. So if I add another sheet here, you can add anything you want here. 
So we have CRM, you have checklists. What if we add this one, a calendar? So please create a calendar for task related daily operations for a research checkbox. I'm going to simply remove that one. Click create. Now we're creating a calendar. I'll get back to you once it's here. So welcome back to the video we have right here. As you can see, this is calendar day to day operations starting from Monday or each day of the week. We have task also under here. Let me just click on insert for this one. Perfect. So we have node status, assignee, priority, task, time, and date. Basically, this is now a calendar for you guys that's going to be a table format. So I just want to let you know that the limit here would be your imagination. So you can add anything you want here, maybe a task management tool, a CRM, or a table. Simply put in a Google spreadsheet. So thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.